What's up guys, Sean the Bro here, and today we're going to be going over regenerating shields and health, if you'd like to regenerate your health, over time in the first person shooter tutorial series. So we have these spikes on the ground that I'm going to run into to take shield damage. After a given amount of time without taking more damage, my shield will begin to regenerate. If I take damage, it resets the timer, I take my damage, and then once again, when I have not taken damage for a specific period of time, it will begin regenerating again. We'll go over increasing and changing the rate, the delay, and other factors, and I'll show you how you could refill your health this way as well. However, I actually have it where it doesn't automatically regenerate our health so say we take health damage but i wait here my shield is going to recharge but my health won't that's on purpose i'd like to use health packs or something to regenerate health and have these shields regenerate over time when not taking damage so anyway simple enough we're going to get into this today but before we do if you'd like to get caught up on the series i believe this is episode 33 so we have a bunch of episodes we've already done. We still have way, way more content to put out for this guy. But if you'd like to get caught up, I'll leave the entire series right here in this playlist in the top right corner. Otherwise, we are going to be expanding upon our health and shield system that we already have in place. So if you'd like to see how I set that up, I'll show you this icon in the top right corner right here to go to that episode. Now let's get started. So we're going to go to our FPS tutorial character.h in our code because we have a bunch of variables we have to add to make this work. Don't worry, it's not too bad, but if this is the first time you're seeing it, again, there are quite a lot of variables that you probably want to initially consider. So first things first, we need a boolean that can that determines if shields can recharge or not. So when we get when we initially take our damage, and we don't want our shields to recharge for, I believe I set it to two seconds until we don't take damage. So if we don't take damage for two seconds, we start recharging our shields. At that time, before the two seconds is reached, then can shields recharge is false. It's no, we can't recharge them right now. Once two seconds have passed, then we say, yes, we can recharge them. So that's what this Boolean is going to do. It's going to track when we can and when we can't recharge them to know when it should and shouldn't recharge them. Then I'm going to go down to we had health and shield amount from our health and shield system. Now we're going to add these three other variables here, which is the maximum shield amount. So this is the maximum amount of shields the character can currently have. What this means is this is going to be our ending value that we can recharge up until. So this is important because if we just set it to 1.0, then that's perfectly fine. But we don't want to hard code a 1.0 when we're using these values. Otherwise, if, say you can upgrade your shield. Well, then the total amount of shield that you can have is going to go up. So that also has to adjust. So we have to make sure that we have a maximum amount we can actually have and keep track of. That way we're not hard coding values and we can always reach this new maximum value when we recharge. So we have a maximum. Then we have a regeneration rate. This is how fast the shield itself regenerates. So once you've waited the two seconds and your shield starts recharging, this is the rate at which it's going to recharge. Then we need a delay. So this is how long before we start recharging. So again, I keep saying two seconds. If I haven't taken damage, start recharging. Well, I could make it five seconds. I could make it 20. I could make it 0.1 seconds. I could change the delay between recharging and taking damage. That's what this is keeping track of. And lastly, for now, we're going to need a shield regen timer handle. So basically, we need to create a timer that is going to track this. And so we need to know when we can regen, when we can't, and actually doing the regen process. To do that, we're going to use timers, which requires a timer handle. I recommend making it an entirely new one, although we do have others. You should really only use a timer for one thing, and one specific action at a time at least one specific action that can be 
done at a time. So you could repurpose any of these timers, the name doesn't matter, but you really only want to do like one timer for the shield system, for the shield regen system. So there you go. So once you make all those variables, we are going to make some functions as well, but let's go ahead and set these variables in the constructor. So if you go to the CPP, you can see I've set can shields recharge to be false by default. This is because when the character spawns, I'm assuming they have full shields, so they don't need to be able to recharge them. And this will just save us a few checks that we don't have to go through at the beginning. Then I've set my max shield amount to be 1.0 or 100% when you think of it as a ratio. That's what the shield amount defaults to, the, the current value of shields for the character. You could make this higher or lower, up to you. I then set these two variables, regeneration rate and regeneration delay. So 0.15 is the rate. That's how fast it's refilling. I could say increase this to 0.25 to make it go faster. And for the regeneration delay, I could maybe make it three seconds instead. You could also change this based on if you have different shields. Maybe they have different properties. You don't have to do anything with the timer at the start. You don't have to set it in the constructor or anything there you go those are all of our variables now let's go down in the header file one more time let's go to where our functions are and we're going to have two new functions that I've added at the bottom here. So we have this void enable shield recharge, which basically once the two seconds or once our delay is up and we're ready to begin charging shields again, this is the function that's going to start that process and kick it off. So I have enable shield recharge, and then we're also overriding the tick function from the parent class. If you're not familiar with this, what tick does in code is that it's going to run every frame and when we override a function, we're basically taking a function from a parent class and filling out our own logic for it. We have virtual void tick float delta time override. It has to be just like this because when we're doing an override, we have to match the function definition. Now, you'll notice that our FPS tutorial character is a child of the A character class. So that is where the tick function is being overridden from if you are interested in knowing that. I'm going to scroll down to my new functions. I'm going to make them in the CPP, enable shield recharge and tick. This is how you can set them up. So I have enable shield recharge and all I do is I set the Ken shields recharge boolean to true. This is going to be reset every time we take damage. So when that timer is up, that delay is up, we're going to reset this variable to be true. And then we're going to start filling the shields. Okay. So this is all you need in the enable shields recharge function. And then in tick, here we are. What we're going to do is we're, go we're going to basically make sure that we need to recharge shields by checking to see if the shield amount is less than the max shield amount. Essentially, is the current amount of shields the character has less than the maximum amount? Should we recharge at all? Is there any need for it? If it is, then we check and see if we can recharge our shields. And then if we can, then we're going to set our shield amount to this complicated little function here. It's not actually complicated, but it looks complicated. So we're going to set shield amount, that's our current, amount of shields equal to f math f interp constant 2 this is going to basically interpolate to this value is what this is saying okay at a constant rate so this is going to take this is your starting value this is the value you're trying to reach and interpolate you're going from a to b at a given rate so this is a this is the starting this is b this is the destination Delta time is how much time has passed, and this is the rate. In tick, delta time gets passed in, so you don't have to make this. You just pass in the one from your parameter list here. And then you pass in the rate of recharge. 
and this allows you to actually update your shield amount on tick based on the amount of time that has passed so it is accurate with this given rate and it's going to update this until it reaches the maximum shield amount in which case it doesn't have to do this anymore and you've reached your your maximum amount and you're good to go you don't have to recharge any farther All right, so these are the two new functions, and that's how they work. Now let's go back and let's take a look at our take damage, which is also going to require some logic changes. I'm going to scroll up here, and here's take damage. Now, all of this was done in the previous episodes, so we don't have to cover this today. But just so you're aware of what's going on here, we were basically getting a damage, determining if the damage was going to go through shields or through health, basically saying it would only hurt shields or it would only hurt health, and then it would actually subtract the damage amount from the character's health. After each of these cases, you can see it's after both of these ifs, because I don't care if it's one type of damage over the other in this case. If I've taken damage at all, I'm setting Ken Shield's recharge to be false. This is because... If damage was taken, we don't want the shields to recharge. The whole point of the delay is that the shields do not recharge until that amount of time has passed. If it's two seconds, if it's three seconds, that means I have to wait that long without taking damage to recharge my shields. So can shields recharge is false whenever damage is taken at any point. Then we have to set the actual timer to call the function that sets Ken Shield's recharge to true. So the way we do this is by getting the timer manager, get world get timer manager dot set timer. Okay. This is how you can set a timer in code. We've actually done it several times throughout the series for things like fire rate. So nothing too crazy here. We're using our shield regen timer handle that we made in the .h file. This is the class that we're going to be calling it on, which is the FPS Toro character here. Then we have enable shield recharge. That's this function at the bottom that sets Ken Shield's recharge to true. So this is the function that's going to be called when this timer reaches its end value. This is the amount of time until this timer is complete, which is the shield regeneration delay, which is what we set to two or three seconds in the constructor, but you can change it to make it whatever value you want. And then false is if this is a self-repeating timer, like it will automatically start repeating once it's complete. So there you go. So every time we take damage, if this is in the, the middle of running right now, saying, yep, we're trying to wait the three seconds to recharge our shield. If we take damage before this completes, it's going to call this function again. That's actually okay. If you call set timer on a timer that's already running, it's just going to restart it, which is what we want in this case. So if we take damage and we were 2.4 seconds away from being able to recharge our shield then it should reset to three seconds so it's perfectly okay to reset here however once it does finally complete and three seconds have passed it's going to call enable shield recharge which is going to set this to be true and then this tick that has been running every frame can finally complete because the shield amount will be less than the maximum since we took damage and also shields can recharge so we're going to go in here and we're we're going to upgrade our shield amount until it reaches the maximum value, thus refilling our shield. You don't have to actually do anything in your blueprints today. You can update your HUD if you'd like, but this is essentially it. If we look at our character here, scroll down to our base character BP and we can scroll down to health and shields right here can shields recharge shield amount max shield amount shield regeneration rate and shield delay okay so we can play around with the settings here 
if I could get this to open back up. There we go. I don't know why I want it before. We're going to, you can see the shield amount decreasing. Okay. You can see that the shields can recharge and the shield amount is going up. Now, what we need to do is let's set our shield regeneration rate to 0.5 and the shield regeneration delay to 10. So the delay is a lot longer, but the time in which it takes to fill up the bar is gonna be very quick in comparison to what we had. So we're gonna wait our 10 seconds and you're gonna see the bar fill up very quickly. There we go. So you can see how fast we were able to actually fill up our shield once that delay was finally up. So it's very easily customizable. You can also update the max shield amount as well, say five, and you'll see that it's, it's going to keep filling. Now, the progress bar won't actually update with it because the progress bar is uh, bound to that 1.0 ratio. So if you go into blueprints, widgets, character HUD, and go into your get shield bar percent, which we're actually already in, you can see that I'm just checking the shield amount and returning it. It's literally that simple. But the percent is 1.0 by default. 1.0 is full. So when it's 5.0, it's going to be higher than, it's, it's going to be higher than the max. You won't be able to see the changes. So for that, we can adjust that later by passing in a maximum amount here not just the shield amount. So it's not just that we're checking the shield amount and returning the node. All we have to do for this guy is we check against our max shield amount. So if you get max shield amount, just like this, you can do float divided by float shield amount by max shield amount, you'll get this new ratio, not just the 1.0 ratio. Okay. And there you go. So we come in here, click our base character BP. We can click max shield amount, set that to 2.0. Okay. And you'll see that the progress bar actually changes. The fact that I have a max shield amount of 2.0, now the shield bar actually is only half because it's at currently one. And shields can't recharge right now because we haven't set them to just by changing that value, but say we take damage, okay? They're going to be able to recharge in two seconds, and you can see they're gonna fill all the way up until the new 2.0. And there you go. So that's how you can make a fully customizable shield regeneration system very quickly. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe. It does more for myself and the channel than anything else you can do. I really appreciate it. I want to give a huge shout out to my YouTube membership and Patreon supporters and subscribers. Thank you guys for everything you've done, for all the assistance and love and support over the years. I'm really grateful, and I'm always excited to show you guys new things that I've learned or that you guys are excited to see. If you had any issues with this tutorial or any of my videos, feel free to join the Discord community. It's completely free, and I'd be happy to help you and assist you with any problems that you ran into. Anyway, guys, like I said, I'm Sean the Bro. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.